Yeah, so this is the only sound that I like in the new CMF Buds Pro 2. If you want to know why I'm saying that, well, patience, you must have young Padawan. This review of the new CMF Buds Pro 2 will have all your answers. Hi, I'm Esha. You're watching Track and English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. Undoubtedly, since this is a nothing product, it looks good. And I like the design of this case. I love the curves and it actually does make it easier to grip. What did he say? Hey! Does make it easier to grip. Also, it's made entirely of smooth matte plastic material. But since it's a box-like design, you can't flip it open with you know, your finger like this very easily. Fun fact, the new Watch Pro 2 actually has a round design compared to the Watch Pro, which had a square design. And this case has a square design compared to the CMF Buds Pro original one, which had a round design. Probably CMF's design team is just testing the waters until they figure out the correct shape that they want to have for their products. All right, now it's time for Airshot's live yank test. Let's see how the magnets are. Are they strong enough? In fact, all the three over here were pretty strong. What about this? Oh no, these are pretty lightweight. Having said that, remember the smart dial on the CMF neckband pro? Well, that has been ported over to this case now. And this is clearly teenage engineering at play. You can obviously control the volume level by rotating the dial. And there is also a button press like thing and you can hear a distinctive click. This click actually reminds me of pioneer electronic musician Giorgio talking about the click sound on the 24 track. You know what, listen to Giorgio by Murdor in Daft Punk's final studio album, Random Access Memories and you know what I'm saying. I knew I needed a click, so we put a click on the 24 track, which then was synced to the Moog modular. And that's what I like about Nothing's design philosophy. It evokes some emotion in me. I like it. But obviously, you would have that question in your mind. Why do you need this when you have gesture controls? And my answer to that would be, after using tactile physical buttons that are tuned so well at a hardware level, no touch control, no gesture control can come close. Now for what it is worth, you can adjust what the single, double, triple and long press of this button or the smart dial can do for you from within the Nothing X app. As for the rotate function, you can only use it to change the volume or switch it off. Now the Nothing X app itself is very well designed. You've got a very good visual of the buds and the case and the battery left inside them. That apart, you have options to change the equalizer, the ANC levels, activate spatial audio, adjust the level of the ultra bass and a whole lot more. Of course, update the buds as well. Also, you get support for Windows Swift Pair and Google Fast Pair. All of that is taken care of. But more importantly, dual connection is also available. What that means is that you can switch audio between the phone and the laptop or a tablet depending on the situation. By the way, the buds themselves have a very good fit, at least for my ear type, uh, and they're very comfortable to wear for long listening sessions without causing any fatigue. And they also have flat stems, which means that there is more surface area for the touch controls too, which by the way, I never used considering the smart dial. And of course, you get support for IP55 as well, which means that if you're wearing the buds and exercising, then sweat will not affect the electronics. Once you get the right fit on the CMF Buds Pro 2 with ANC set to high, you get some of the best noise cancelling that I've heard in this price category. And yes, it comes out on top, beating even the OnePlus Buds 3. Even the transparency mode is excellent. Again, the top of my bit. By the way, the battery on these lasted me about six hours of continuous playtime with volume kept at about 70% and LDAC on, which is in the same ballpark range as the OnePlus Buds 3 and the Realme Buds Air 6 Pro. So I'm not really complaining. I think all of these would give you similar battery life. But of course, you know, Oppo Enco Air 3 Pro's battery life is not that great. As for the gaming performance, the latency is pretty decent. You don't hear any audio video lag per se. But if you're a professional gamer, you should actually use a... Wait, I'm not going to say it. I've said it multiple times before. What should you use? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, so we are outside for the mic test and let's start with the CMF Buds Pro 2. So right now I'm talking from the CMF Buds Pro 2 and this is how the mic sounds on these buds. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comment section below and we'll test it against the other ones. So now I'm recording audio from the Oppo Enco Air 3 Pro and this is what it sounds like. It didn't sound great in the previous video. I don't think it sounds great right now either. This is audio recorded from the OnePlus Buds 3. And this is what it sounds like. It's a lot of nature sounds around me. It sounds very beautiful outside of the Buds for sure. And finally, this is audio being recorded from the Realme Buds Air 6 Pro. And this is what the Realme Buds Air 6 Pro's mic sounds like. 
what do you guys think so if you ask me cmf is doing a lot of environmental noise cancellation so it makes me sound artificial i still think buds 3 would be my top pick followed by the realme buds s6 pro and then the cmf buds pro 2 and finally the enco air 3 pro all right finally let's talk about the sound and you know the cmf buds pro 2 has the same audio setup as the oneplus buds 3 and the realme buds s6 pro yep you get 11 mm dynamic driver and a 6 mm micro planar tweeter i think some factory in shenzhen must be bulk selling these for cheap which is why all of these brands have picked up these you know drivers now having this dual driver setup enables cmf buds pro 2 to have a frequency range of up to 40000 hertz at the top end honestly it doesn't matter in the larger scheme of things because what matters is how the sound is actually tuned and that is where i'm disappointed with the CMF Buds Pro 2. Not only does the Buds Pro 2 have a bass heavy, bloated and dark sound signature, it also has shouty mids. It's the kind of few shape sound signature that I generally try to stay away from. There's a song Limit to Your Love by James Blake and it is purely defined by the sub bass. Now the sub bass grunt is so bloated on the CMF Buds Pro 2 that you can't listen to anything else in the mix until Blunt starts singing and everything starts sounding shouty, which means that the bass is grating and so are the mids. Also there's no sound staging per se it's all in your head and the tonality is completely off too. The only real advantage is that because CMF has used dual drivers the imaging is slightly decent so you do listen to the separation between the instruments. Now you must be wondering can you EQ it to make it sound better? No. Nope. Yes you can reduce the level of bass but the bloat is the bloat and it doesn't change the general characteristic of the sound itself. Moreover CMF has introduced Dirac Optio support for sound and it says it's hi-fi sound but it doesn't work with LDAC and in any case Dirac solution means that it is going to artificially you know digitally enhance the sound and it doesn't sound very good so in my previous comparison the OnePlus Buds 3 was my least favorite in terms of sound quality well unfortunately the CMF Buds Pro 2 slots itself one level lower and in comparison the Realme Buds Air 6 Pro and the Oppo Enco Air 3 Pro sound way better what about the spatial audio Airshot well the less said about it the better because it's bad on all four You know after having used the CMF Buds Pro 2 what I feel is that it's like a nice toy to play around with it's got a very nice design the smart dial is very good but when it comes to the actual big boy stuff like sounding good it falls short so in general if you look at it I prefer nothing's audio products over its sub brands I think that should explain it all right so that was my CMF Buds Pro 2 review I hope you guys liked it if you have any thoughts do let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one until then keep tracking and stay safe